<laughs> okay, I'm going to have a play with this today. It's called Electrolysis. I think that's how you say it. This is a very rusty old skillet. Found this in the garden. Well, I found it at the top. Of the you don't know the circumstances. It's my late brother's, and that is pretty glued on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is going to drop it in here and use. So this is an old chisel, so I'm going to put, I'll figure out, I think it's positive, negative, I'll, 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 I'll Google that. Extension lead, battery charger, soda crystals. So I think it's, it's a um, tablespoon of crystals to one gallon of water, so there's probably be a couple of gallons in there, three gallons, so three tablespoons. Um, I don't know if that's going to work. This is a really old trickle charger, so we'll see. It might just recognise it, and I don't even know it's going to work. So this is our first experiment. So we'll give it a go. I'm going to get some water, and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I'm going to add a couple of crystals. Some big lumps in there. I'll put it in the bucket because I'm going to dissolve it first. Oh, sorry, pussy. <laughs> so I'm going to let that dissolve. Probably put a bit more in and then I'll tip it into here and then we'll see what happens in a minute. Right, so I've put it, <laughs> filled it up. I can't get any more in. So I'm going to put a negative, the negative on the skillet and the positive so the iron so it attracts. Mm, I don't know. I'm just guessing. So it attracts the negative particles to the chisel. And then we'll see what happens. So I'll just connect. Okay. Let's switch it on and see what happens. It should bubble and bubble and squeak. I have no idea. Oh well, nothing so far. So I'm not too sure if the charger will work with this, because it's... I don't know. Come back in a second. Can you see that? Ooh. And it didn't work with the charger. So you can see the, see the rust coming off now, see all the particles. I'm using a car battery. Well, it's a leisure battery. It's one I got spare hanging around the garage. I thought I'd give it a go. So, crudely wired up. For experiment. Love it. So, let's see what happens. I'll leave it for an hour or so. And uh, as long as the battery holds its charge. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Look at that. You don't want to breathe this in, that's what's outside in the garden. But yep. Right, come back in a bit. Okay, let's be a look now. That's been on four hours roughly. So look at this. I've not touched it. <laughs> oh my god, that is gross. It's still going through the you can see this bubble still going. And let's have a look. Disconnect that. Now I didn't think it was any good, but actually. Look 
after that, it actually does work well. And this was bad, this has been out like, oh look at that, it's coming off. in the corner. Oh wow! That's actually amazing. How to clean a skillet using a car battery. And the bottom. Yep. Well, I wouldn't think that was actually going to be working that well. That's going to be easy to, clean, easy to clean now. Well, well, well. Great. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to subscribe, like and share, that would be great. And uh, see you in the next vid. Take care.